Hey guys, welcome back to Trigonometry Applied. Today we're gonna go through Hipparchus problem, which is the second one after the first. So in the previous video for Trigonometry Applied, we actually discovered how Hipparchus measured the average distance from the Earth to the Moon, okay? So today we're gonna go through the second idea, how the radius of the Moon can be measured. So actually the problem, how Hipparchus measured the radius of the Moon. We've got the Earth, we've got the Moon here, and we have specific point of observations. So let's say that the Earth um, has like some, the t some town here. Let's mark the point X, where actually people observe the Moon. So that's the Moon. So what we can say, so we have some pre preliminary knowledge so from the town X on the Earth's surface, the angle between the imaginary line to the center of the Moon, I mean it's that line, let's put the letter M here. So this line, that how the Moon is observed by people in the town X, and actually imaginary line which is tangent to the edge of the Moon, okay? And in this case, the angle the angle if you try to measure those two angles so sorry the angle between those two lines so between the tangent line to the edge of the moon and the line that connects two centers so basically the moon center and the town x so probably their center as well okay so the angle is going to be 0 0.25 degrees so knowing that and Assuming that the average distance from the Earth's surface to the Moon, let's say, let's take it from the reference 384,000, let's take 403 kilometers, that's the average distance. So basically, in our case, Mx is this value in kilometers. We are going to measure the radius of the Moon, okay? So we can apply trigonometry and as you can see here is the right angle triangle so the right angle is here between the tangent and the radius that's by definition and that's by the properties and features of the radius and tangent line to the circle okay so what we can do we can set up a trigonometric ratio all right so what we have we have mx as height we have the angle which is 025 degrees, and we want to find the opposite leg to that angle. So we can set up the sine ratio, so it tells you that the opposite side to the angle is simply hypotenuse, hype, basically the distance mx, and times, so in this case, sine 0 0.25 degrees. All right, so let's use calculator and figure out this ratio. So the radius of the moon is simply 384403 multiplied by sine of 025. You just remember how sine works using the calculator. So you need to press sine button because in this case, the input is in degrees, 025 degrees. So the output should be a number that we're actually looking for. And let's calculate. What I've got, I've got 1,677 okay, kilometers. That's the approximate radius of the moon, that how we can find that. So, but actually, more precise source of information tells us that it's about 1,737 kilometers. So guys, you decide what's wrong here, or probably what sort of uh, what sort of assumptions need to be stated here in order to have a precise value, okay? Thank you. I hope you like that. That was Hipparchus problem 2 in defining the radius of the moon. Don't forget to subscribe. This actually might be the part of your project for internal assessment in your GCC program. All right, take it and try to extend. So probably ask the questions and actually probably try to extend this work to a certain level so that it can be 
a nice project for your math lessons. Peace out.